Hey guys, it is Friday morning and I decided this weekend to make a spontaneous trip to Hong Kong, China and conveniently Jameson, who you probably remember from Sydney oh, yeah. was in the neighborhood. He was in Thailand and Cambodia a second ago. We're here for three days, you guys will see a little bit of what we do. I've had a few friends tell me like places to eat, touristy stuff to see so you guys will get to follow us around everywhere. place called the Jade Garden. Uh, the woman at the hotel said it's a really good place to have some authentic Chinese food. We're starving. He hasn't eaten since Cambodia. I haven't eaten since India, which was a long time ago. I see the price of everything, but I have no idea what it's for. And I thought maybe there would be like an English side of it. It's like, choose your best guess of what you want to eat. So I'm like, ah, oh, that looks tasty. It is day two. It is more like a touristy day today, but Jameson does not feel like seeing any more Buddha statues. He says he's seen enough for his whole trip after being in Thailand. So I'm gonna head out. It's probably gonna take me two hours to get there, and then you guys will see it. I wanted to show you guys something really cool. So the hotel that we're staying in gives every single person that checks in a smartphone with unlimited calling, texting, and um, you can like hotspot as much as you want, unlimited data. So I think this is the coolest thing. Every other country needs to do something like this because it makes it so convenient to travel around. The subway station looks like an airport. It is spotless, super clean. super relaxing air conditioned and then there's a whole bunch of steps to climb up to get to the Buddha so it's gonna take a while to get there. So we're using the cable car but I think there's also a way to follow this path you can see the outline over there and it's leading all the way from the back there so if it wasn't as humid as it is and it wasn't as hot as it is maybe I would brave the elements and a walk all the way up the same distance that takes 30 minutes to 40 minutes with the cable car. Just looking at these steps all the way down this hill makes me consider maybe walking down. It's like this tiny, see that staircase going all the way leading over there up and around to where we started. I might actually do that coming down. There it is. I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see it. It's huge even from this distance. It's so majestic. I'm sure that the video does not do it justice. Climb all the way to the top. And there's some of the thing in Kuala Lumpur a few years ago. There's always like a whole bunch of stairs to get up there. The difference in Kuala Lumpur is the Batu Caves. The Buddha statue is actually in 
Was it in the cave or next to the cave? I can't remember, but super long stairs up there. Again, this is so breathtaking. The stair climbing starts. I don't know how many there are. It's not too bad. Doesn't look that steep either. Ah, oh, this is cool. Okay, now I'm getting slightly ex exhausted. It wasn't as... <laughs> It wasn't as easy as I thought, and I still have a little bit more to go. But with every step, it gets better. And I made it all the way up those stairs. It says, attention, do not focus on smartphone games. Be safe. I think they're talking about Pokemon Go. I guess a lot of people hit into each other or trip and fall catching Pokemon instead of catching photos of the Buddha. We're by this Buddha statue up here and I'm thinking, I told you guys already, of walking instead of using the cable car. So I'm about to walk down this emergency staircase all the way to the bottom. They say it's gonna take about three hours and I believe them. <laughs> so I'm gonna go grab a few waters at a 7-Eleven, get myself ready and then just start the walk. Goodbye cable cars, hello, long, long walk back. Beware of very steep trail ahead. Oh gosh. The worst thing about these stairs is I'm going down only to go all the way back up. So I think I might be a third of the way. Now it's like this huge downhill followed by a huge uphill about a whole bunch of other stuff. It's not that bad, I was exhausted a second ago wondering why I couldn't be one of them again. This is way more fun and I would have honestly regretted if I had just taken that back. There's a temple there and then person is down there. Okay, so not too bad. Yeah. Over there? Yes. We're making it guys, we're making it. <laughs> awesome, thank you very much. I made it. <laughs> I made it. So that took way quicker than I thought. Really wasn't bad. I am however drenched in sweat, so this was a good workout for the day. I feel super accomplished. Picture I was waiting for. Yeah, so Jameson's only Instagram photo is of him in a hotel, and it could be a hotel anywhere in the world. But it's in Hong Kong. But it's in Hong Kong. Just a lot of sky on that one. It's okay. Thank you so much, Ivan. Appreciate you. We just sat down. This is our view. Drinks with the view. I just ordered myself a calzone. I'm being very Italian on this trip, I must say that. Very Italian. <laughs> and I think our hotel is on the other island. So we're in Hong Kong Island right now, but otherwise we are further out. There comes this huge drink. This man has to carry it with both of his hands. So Jameson already got his. <laughs> Here comes mine. We're almost done with these super huge drinks. Fantastic. I must say, pretty good. So that's where we had lunch. We're sitting at the table in the corner over there. Got all that cool view. We made it to the observation deck. It's too hot. I, that's all the footage you guys get <laughs> because we are. I'm stupidly wearing a black t-shirt. It doesn't matter. We could be butt naked and it's still. He's right. Even in butt naked weather, butt naked. <laughs> you'd be dying. It's my final day in Hong Kong. I'm headed to the airport in a second. I'll probably go and grab something to eat. Say goodbye to the city. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you wish. And I'll see you guys somewhere else sometime soon.